a sculpture depicting a boy choking a goose is a compelling piece of art with historical roots. This sculpture is identified as a Roman copy dating from the 1st to 2nd century CE, replicating a Greek original from the 2nd century BCE. Still, Life with Cheeses, Almonds and Pretzels by Clara Peters places us in the artistic landscape of Antwerp, Belgium, around 1615. This painting reflects the Dutch and Flemish tradition of still life, showcasing the skill and attention to detail of Clara Peters. A medieval sculpture of a knight by Mestre Pero, dating back to 13th century Portugal, evokes an image of a historical artistic masterpiece. This sculpture likely embodies the craftsmanship of the medieval period, portraying a knight with intricate details that may reflect the artistic and cultural influences of the time. A 19th century necklace with a 17th century bow and jewel of painted opaque enamel represents a fascinating blend of historical elements in jewellery design. During the 19th century, there was a notable revival of interest in historical styles and motifs often referred to as the Revivalist or Revival period. The bronze lime container with a head handle from Java, Indonesia, dating back to 200 BC to 200 AD. Lime containers were commonly used in various cultures for storing lime, which was often mixed with betel nut for chewing. Betel chewing was a social and cultural practice, and containers like these were both utilitarian and decorative. The silver box lid shaped like a ram from China dating back to the Tang Dynasty from 7th to 8th century AD. The choice of a ram as the shape for the box lid is likely symbolic. In Chinese culture, the ram is associated with traits such as perseverance, humility and filial piety. The small ceramic sculpture of a duck, identified as Su Ware and originating from the Kofun period in Japan in circa 5th to 6th century AD. The ceramic duck sculpture showcases the artistic skills of Kofun period potters. Ceramics were not only utilitarian during this period, but also served decorative and ritualistic purposes. The gilded altarpiece featuring two seated Buddhas from Japan, dating back to the Edo period from 1750 to 1850. The use of gilding, the application of gold leaf or gold paint suggests the sacred and revered nature of the altarpiece. Gilding is often associated with religious art, symbolizing spiritual richness and divine illumination. The gold brooch with almondine inlays from Germany, dating back to the 6th century AD. The 6th century AD places this gold brooch within the migration period or early medieval period in Europe. This era was marked by cultural shifts, migrations of various Germanic tribes, and the emergence of distinct artistic styles. The bronze ceremonial knife with a dragon design from China, dating back to the Shang Dynasty from 1600 to 1050 BC, holds significant historical and cultural importance. Ceremonial knives in ancient China were often associated with religious rituals, sacrificial offerings or burial practices. The presence of a dragon design suggests a connection to mythological or spiritual beliefs, as dragons were powerful and revered creatures in Chinese culture. The gold tripod goblet from China, dating back to the Ming Dynasty from 1368 to 1644. The Ming Dynasty is known for its advancements in arts and culture. Ming artisans excelled in various crafts, including ceramics, painting and metalwork. The gold tripod goblet reflects the high level of craftsmanship during this period. The sculpture of the three magi visiting Mary and Jesus, created by Hans Thoman in Germany between 1515 and 1520. The subject of the sculpture, depicting the three magi, also known as the wise men or kings, visiting Mary and Jesus, is a biblical narrative from the Gospel of Matthew. According to Christian tradition, the Magi brought gifts of gold, frankincense and myrrh to the newborn Jesus. 
the preserved coloured sugar Christmas tree ornament featuring a dove, dating from approximately 1850 to 1900 in America. The mid to late 19th century saw the popularisation of Christmas celebrations in America. During this time, people began decorating Christmas trees, a tradition influenced by German immigrants in the mid-1800s. The carving of a man with an exaggerated topknot from Japan dating back to the Edo period from 1800 to 1850. The exaggerated topknot, Chonmage, on the figure's head is notable. The Chonmage was a traditional Japanese male hairstyle characterised by a shaved pate with a prominent topknot. The style often conveyed social status and the exaggeration could be indicative of a particular role or character. The reliquary arm of St. John Chrysostom from Portugal created around 1500. Reliquaries are sacred containers designed to hold and display relics, usually associated with saints or important religious figures. In this case, the reliquary contains a relic associated with St. John Chrysostom, one of the most revered church fathers and archbishops of Constantinople. The marble relief of angels singing and playing instruments sculpted by Luca della Robbia in Italy between 1432 and 1438. Luca della Robbia was a prominent Italian sculptor known for his innovative use of glazed terracotta and contributions to Renaissance art. His works often featured religious themes and displayed a distinctive combination of classical and contemporary elements. The royal sleigh of Ludwig II from Bavaria, Germany, dating back to 1880. Ludwig II, also known as Mad King Ludwig, was the King of Bavaria from 1864 until his death in 1886. He was known for his eccentricities, patronage of the arts, and his lavish building projects, including Neuschwanstein Castle. The illustration of King David playing the lute and singing a psalm in a manuscript of the Psalms from Christian Ethiopia in the 1400s. Ethiopia has a rich tradition of Christian manuscripts, often characterized by vibrant colors, intricate designs, and religious themes. Manuscripts played a crucial role in preserving and transmitting religious and cultural knowledge. The jade plaque with an engraved figure from China belonging to the Liangzhu culture and dating back to the 3rd millennium BC. Jade held immense significance in ancient Chinese culture. It was considered a symbol of virtue, purity and immortality. Jade artifacts were often associated with rituals, ceremonies and burials. A plate from the Sasanian Empire from 224 to 651 AD featuring three heart signs. The Sasanian Empire was a significant Persian Empire that succeeded the Parthian Empire. Its cultural and artistic achievements are notable and it played a crucial role in the development of artistic styles in the region.